The king is dead. Long live the king. In Memphis, Tennessee, crowds have been dancing to jailhouse rock to celebrate Elvis Presley International Tribute Week. Most appropriate as the week-long celebration wraps up on August 16th, on the 16th anniversary of the king's death. A local lookalike may not be the successor to the king of rock and roll's throne, but Roger Pratt, known as Sonny Lane, is one Elvis admirer who really knows how to keep the spirit of Elvis Presley alive. Now, Sonny began singing in 1956 with the downbeats, but after seeing Elvis for the first time on the Dorsey Brothers show, it changed his life. Let's find out exactly why. What, what changed so dramatically when you actually saw Elvis? Uh, when I when I was younger, I was doing uh, uh, operettas and uh, semi-classical music, and I was in a school band playing the trombone. And after I saw, uh, you know, when rock and roll first started, it it was really exciting, and I went into that in, into that type of music because of that. And now, since that time, your your family has grown. You've put together these long, I mean, big shows on Elvis, and your whole family's involved. It's really become a family affair. Oh, yeah. All of my children are involved. I have seven children, and uh, my daughters do background vocals, and my sons uh, play instruments, and, and uh, we have family friends who play bodyguards, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just a, a whole family thing. Fantastic. What kind of response do you get from the crowd? I mean, I'm sure many of them have maybe seen Elvis. They've admired him for a long time. We have, we have a great response. Uh, People, people really enjoy the uh, show, and uh, the, uh, uh, the the response is almost like you're, 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 you're it's just exciting, you know. And, and you get excited too because you see through crowds of three, four, eight thousand people standing in front of you, and it's it's a lot of fun, you know. Yeah. We, you go way back. I mean, playing Elvis maybe isn't what you've done all your life. In fact, I have a a CD in front of me that is part of something that's from the fifties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These were songs, acetates, that were recorded back in 1958 or 59 that were never released. We had a hit record called Growing Love, and it, that was with the downbeats. And uh, these songs were recorded at the same time but were never released. Now they've taken New England groups and Boston groups, and uh, it's a three-set CD out. Yeah. And, uh, That's fantastic. We I mean, catch, catch yeah. back up with our past and then the kind oh, of yeah. music. So it's the raging Because teens. back in the early days, there was rock and roll in New England. But you never hear much about it because it was all Nashville based, you know. But there was something here. There is a little bit of rock and roll history sure. in the state of New Hampshire. What's most exciting for you now when you go out there and, and do Elvis? Uh, to see my son do it, you know, that's pretty exciting. Because you are you're doing more than one generation of Elvis. Yeah, we show. do three phases. Uh, my son John goes out and does the first phase of Elvis. And uh, I go out and do the second phase, and a very good friend of mine, Bob Martin, who happens to be my uh, partner in the insurance business, does the third phase. The insurance mm -hmm. business. People don't want to think of Elvis doing insurance. Now, no. you've got a big show, in fact, this weekend, Hampton Beach. Mm -hmm. Give us some details. Uh, the show is at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, and it runs from 7 to, 8, uh, 7 to 9.30. Fantastic. So. And we're going to see all three phases of Elvis. Yes, you are. Yeah, this you really love doing this, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's an absolute. I can just see it's it's part of you now. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> Maybe you really are Elvis. Let's not tell. Thanks a lot for joining us. Have a Thank great show this it. weekend. Thanks. All right, thanks. Right now, we're going to check in with Steve Cooper, who's sitting in for Karen Appel, and see what's coming up on 5:30 Live. Steve. Kathy, coming up in just a couple of minutes, we'll hear from some Granite State teens in Denver taking part in the Pope's visit to the United States. Financial expert Bob Ramsey with a look at what you can do about the new federal taxes on the way. And we'll take you to the National Hypnotist Convention going on in Nashua. It's all coming next on 530 Live. Kath? Thanks, Steve. And, of course, there's more news at the top of the hour with New Hampshire's News 9 at 6 when Nan and Tom return. We'll, of course, be back after the weekend. Hope you will, too. Have a great night.
Thank you.